Thank you, body. Thank you, breath. Thank you, being. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Taking three minutes to find the gratitude for the body, breath, being matrix. This is how I start my meditation practice every day. Thank you, body. Thank you, breath. Thank you, being. And I'm sharing these tools and techniques for aligning, receiving the guidance, opening up the portals, the spine, preparing the body field to see and hear through the eyes of source, to find the connection. And every time I do one of these recordings, I walk you through the practice and the process as I get myself attuned and aligned, readying myself to receive, sharing these transmissions, The potent question that has come to me this week from Spirit is, have you accomplished all that you have come here for? Have I accomplished everything I've come here for? I've been in deep contemplation and understanding the meaning of this question understanding my purpose for being, my reason for being here, but also what does it mean to accomplish beyond the societal definition and confines of success, achievement, numbers, dollars, popularity. We first need to know what we came here for. What have you come here for? It's such a deep, potent question. What have I come here for? Which insinuates and assumes that the spirit, the being, has come here on purpose and has a reason for being. This leads to deeper level of inquiry as well as knowing that is important to sit with, be with, contemplate, explore. And it's also significant and important to acknowledge what you have accomplished so far, what I have accomplished so far what we are accomplishing together, what I'm here for individually and collectively can be a different story as well. So I thought it would be prudent to drop into a Source Speaks transmission, talking about purpose, higher purpose, reason for being, soul's journey, which will incorporate my personalized expression and signature as I ask these powerful questions, receive the answers, and then there is a collective field. All beings on the earth at this time are swimming in the same sea of consciousness, and therefore there's a theme to the generational incarnations. Now asked to receive individual and collective perspectives. And I tend to pick up in the quantum field those that are listening, personal choices and answers that may resonate with you 
beyond space and time, we can hear one another. We're all in the same psychic field. Telepathically communing beyond space and time. Your questions have already been asked to the multiverse and have already been answered. We're like antennas that transmit and receive these energies. First and foremost, let's get aligned, prepare the body temple, the mental, emotional, psycho-spiritual spheres. Notice if there's any holding and blocking, if there's a need for rebalancing, check in with the mental sphere, the heart, the belly. Make sure the portals of the tailbone and crown of the head are even. Notice if one tends to be smaller than the other and create an equanimity. Widen your base, spread your sit bones, open the crown of the head. <clears throat> the double tetrahedron, Merkaba, between the masculine and feminine, up and down and heaven are all coming into harmonic spin. Quantum love with the heart of the apex. Allow the infinity of loops to balance the left and right, as well as the vertical axes in a triple wave. Plug in deeply, getting triple grounded, mega grounded into the core of the earth, communing with the soul of the earth, the heart of Mama Gaia, celebrating this divine love with the Mata, as well as expanding and growing through the column of light silver cord antenna shoots up to the heavens and we're being stretched in both directions the body field golden bubbles surrounding the entire auric body spin it on turbo speed the hum and song of the heart comes online as we increase our vibratory tone to connect to pure, infinite intelligence, source energy, creator of all that is, higher self. Merging with the inner being, the holy trinity between heaven, heart, and earth. Pillar of light has been activated, body of light, initiated, family of light, called upon, the quantum family, soul family, earth kin, star kin, galactic family, angels, guides, ascended masters, high council, round table, spiritual guides, higher entourage of energies that you are connected to, the subtle energy layers, as well as the consciousness grid on the earth and the frequency holders, wisdom keepers, embodied masters on this planet. entire tree of life grows through you as your roots deepen and your branches rise, your leaves dance in the wind like satellite dishes, being able to receive the highest and best, filtering out all the frequencies and tuning to this one channel of divine love, light, essence. Let it feel good to plug in and back to source, pure source, blended being, 
make more room and space by sloughing off the old and flushing, constantly renewing the field. Just like showering each day, golden nectar is pouring down, cleansing the body field of any holding, anything left over from yesterday, five minutes ago, five years ago, 50 years ago, 5,000 years ago, beyond space and time are collapsing into the now zero point presence. Breathe into that space pure awareness. Let yourself feel deeply how delicious it is to be one with the soul of the earth, the soul of the soul, seat of the soul, the heavens. so much more beyond what we can physically see, hear, sense, taste, and touch. Our physical apparatus is just a tiny sliver on a gigantic scale of energies and possibilities, potentialities. We celebrate this incarnation into a body develop our extrasensory ability by opening up, by opening to the greater capacity of our true being to the most optimal level for radiant health, healthy mind, healthy body, healthy psyche, emotions. Notice if there's anything within the body field that needs help balancing and releasing. Ask for a healing bomb. The quantum healing will happen once we understand the reason for an illness, an offness, an ailment. Everything has significance and a deeper meaning and purpose that it's serving. Otherwise, we come back into resonance, coherence, and alignment with pure source, the divine template. Let the energy flow, let it move, let it go, and call in more powerful life force to pulse through. There is no end to the possibilities and potentialities. We are upgrading and up-leveling our system to hold more. Pure life force, source, power, increase, your passion, your play, your ability to receive new neural pathways and synapses, open up the receptor sites. Put everything on a tuner and a dial so you can adjust how much is coming in. So we have a sense of tuning in to the most optimal, highest, and best capacity for our being at this time now. Just like a dial on a radio that adjusts the tuner and adjusts the volume, we can turn it up and down. Find your sweet spot. place where the body is constantly growing and adjusting, just like we wouldn't eat all of our meals at once. We want to space it out, calibrate it, integrate it, process it, and take in the perfect 
balanced amount for the environment, the needs, the situations and circumstances we enter. Mm. Let the heart lead the way, turning on the diamond light, heart healing, meditation time to feel the original eight cell soul matrix holographic representation of the whole multiverse is in our chest. So dynamic, so simple and complex. feel good to drop into this pure space of presence, the infinite well of wisdom, this deeper knowing of who you are beyond the mind, the emotions. Coming into quantum time, Knowing this powerful meditation practice will allow you to manifest, to rearrange and recalibrate the energies, shifting the particles, the matter into form, tapping into what matters for you. Lining up with the core self, we drop into the crystalline st structures of the pristine divine blueprint. Center, center, center of the earth has been imprinted, a place reserved just for you. The living library and crystalline DNA hold all the codes. Accessing This knowledge, it must be opened through our wisdom of our own crystalline light body to interpret the information and energies pulsing through. When it feels good, it is good. When it feels off, it is off. Follow the simple guidance of the emotional body. The feeling tones is the connection to source. It all must be properly interpreted through the eyes of perception. Of higher self. Alignment principles, nobility codes. The Vedic teaching the I Ching, the wisdom of the ages have all been pointing us in the right direction, the correct way of living, the understanding of balance and harmony with the elementals in nature. Finding peace of mind, putting ourselves in situations and environments that allow us to thrive. Releasing the hurt and the wounds of the past that shut down the flow of inspiration, creativity and ideas. Let's put it all down at the door so the courageous and the innocent child can come out and play. And the sense of wonder, freedom and safety to explore. <clears throat> Welcome yourself back home in the heart. 
release whatever shields or armoring or tightness in the chest has stopped the natural pulsation of energy. And if it feels good, place your hands on your sternum and massage the spaces in between the bones, the intercostals, the rib cage. There are powerful access points along the spine, the energy centers of the chakras that hold the wisdom keys can be freed up through intention, through touch, through the practice of meditation and quantum healing. Just feel where the energy is flowing and where it's stuck. Feel it with your fingers, but also feel it with your mind, with your energy body. Invite it into more spaciousness, making room for the new. We all have certain patterns in the body that are informing the field and attracting and magnetizing certain experiences. So as we change the coding and data structures, it'll change the outcome and the environments. It's more enjoyable to do this powerfully, deliberately, consciously than by default but we will give as many upgrades and up-leveling to the system that you are ready for during this time together. It's all possible. Sometimes we don't interfere with the unfolding of your plan because it is a free will zone and your soul has a journey and path that it's on. And other times the healing can happen in an instant because it's ready to unravel. And we have gotten the green light. That it would be of the highest benefit and serve you to release certain patterns quickly. Healing happens on all levels in an instant and the body, mind, Emotional matrix will take some time to catch up with it. Quantum leaps are not always necessary and can be very uncomfortable. We choose to create a seamless timeline. The harmonic coding in the field will allow for a convergence and merging of the energies so there's no collapse. It's like sewing or weaving two pieces of fabric together is weaving the timelines. So letting it be smooth and easy and graceful is a choice and a higher proclivity for enjoying life. Value your happiness, your peace, your joy, upliftment. It doesn't have to be such a struggle so arduous on the path. Part of your accomplishment for being here is your joy of being, your only job. J-O-B is your joy of being. We have been stressing that and emphasizing that all year long as the struggle persists for many on the planet right now the fluctuations and question marks, the unknown joy of being. Your only job is available in every moment, no matter what anyone else is saying or doing. Circumstances will continue to flex and flux and change, rearrange, and that's okay. Your joy will carry you through all of the shifts, the changes, the turmoil.
It is the life force of love that pulses through all things. Joy and love are twins, twin flames. Love has been tainted by many. And pure joy is still a clean expression of the heart without as many projections onto it. Catch yourself when there is a judgment of frivolousness towards joy and fun when it is truly masterful level work to enjoy life, to allow for more profound fun, serious fun, divine play to come pulsing in. Make everything that you do be infused with a higher fun factor. Joy, fulfillment, satisfaction all go together. Life was not meant to be such a chore and so hard. Accomplishments, accomplishing something, simply a stepping stone to the next and the next and the next, the never ending unfolding and growth, evolution of your soul and path. The journey is infinite, there is no rush. Celebrate every achievement, no matter how big or small. Praise. Dance, sing. Explore. Fill your days with wonder, and delight. Get things done, but infuse them with more enjoyment, more connection. Allow the people, places, and things to come alive in your presence. The divine spark in your heart awakens the nobility codes and others. Be wise and careful with your words, your vibrational offerings, what you speak to becomes more, becomes real, becomes alive. Tune your senses, surround yourself with uplifting and inspiring environments, people, places, and things. It matters. Your purpose and reason for being here is so huge and so simple simultaneously. Have you awakened within yourself the courageous heart that's willing to come out and play? The most epic divine love of self, of life, of others. Not the kind of spoon-fed, romantic, gender-based love that has been pumped into your society as the most important fixation that's filled with dysfunction because it's not in tune with natural law universal principles create the alignment and the bonds, molecular bonds are held together by love and gravity. 
true love, epic, divine, unconditional, of the highest proportion love. Use the word joy to replace love. If it softens within your body matrix and mental sphere, emotional body, use peace, harmony, whatever word represents. Words are only pointers meaning and vibrational offering behind them is more significant than the definitions that have been influenced by the human condition. Earth and heart are the same letters. Placing the age at the beginning of Earth, placing the age at the end apart. There is significance to the symbology the synchronistic hints, nudges, impulses are all guiding from the divine spirit plane. Your senses recognize beauty in the smells, in the taste, in the touch. Something awakens within the dormant strands of DNA when we take in even more beauty, light, love, essence the recognition of source pulsing through all things comes into our awareness. Part of what you came here to accomplish is to fully blend and merge with source, becoming self-realized as an extension of God essence. The words God like love have been misused and skewed because of the power and potency of their message. Relanguage yourself into alignment Calibrate to the highest virtues. Keep yourself finely attuned to your emotional guidance. Release the habits, the judgment, the holding yourself back. Imagine a world where you could express, create, and play with no inhibitions, free-flowing, unlimited, infinite potentiality and possibilities. Notice when you play in your imagination and visualization how much judgment and projection is blocking you from your full expression. Let that be okay and acknowledge that there is another way. Let there be an inner smile as the recognition and the reminder of who you truly are comes back online. And let yourself off the hook. It does not matter how many dollars you collect or how many likes you get on these different platforms. What matters is
can you celebrate the life you've been given, the body you have, the choices you've made, happy and eager for more, truly letting go of the judgment and interpretation of the past. So the nailment is free. Co-creating in the future presence with master level soul self. Becoming powerful, deliberate creator and blended being. In each moment, the choice point is now. Breathe into that. Release any holding that has been stuck. Shake it out if necessary. Mm. Use the breath, use sound to tone. Solidify it into the body matrix, the new self, the new way of being. then relax into the calm, energized space of connection. Tuning the brain function, turning on the left and right hemispheres, use the infinity loops and the dolphin brainwave repatterning. all the functions, organs, and systems can work optimally now. That we've cleared the central pathway, ignited the body field, and allowed the channels to flow You're ready for your day, knowing that you have accomplished so much by simply being. And now your eagerness and willingness to show up fully will lead you down the path of self-realization with a lighter step, a greater capacity for love. and the ability to hold even more joy. Your accomplishments, great and small, are valuable alike. Get out of the habit of creating a hierarchy of judgment around what's significant or important since we cannot see or know the impact of what we're doing and how it influences the world and those around us. Just know in your heart of hearts, when you show up, when you listen, when you love deeply and express fully, you are being and doing what you came here for. Enjoy the process of unfurling into the radiance and resonance of your being. It's all being done for you and to you and through you. Call upon the support, assistance, and help of the angels, guides, ascended masters, light beings, those that are serving the divine plan, your higher path, be part of this quantum team as a divine player. 
Joy is your natural state. Peace, love, trust are all states of being that you can tap into. Shift and tune the brainwave function to find the alignment with the higher state. Release and cleanse the emotional body often so that it can hold the higher octave. Be willing to practice yourself into the light love essence of your being. Practice, practice, practice. Enjoy. Play. Receive. Give evenly. Namaste.